to really <laughs> it would push me to really keep keep doing it. Hey. Oh hi. Thank you. I'm so happy. I love how you get in the house. Hello lovely people. Um can you see me? Is that too dark? Hello lovely people and welcome to today's video. Today's video is one I've wanted to make for a really long time. Today I am designing my Patreon. So why? Why am I designing a Patreon? Uh, there's a few reasons, um, but one of them is that I follow about four artists on there and I love it. It's getting a, a little like personal insight into their world but I get so much back from it. Um, so I've really enjoyed seeing uh, being part of their Patreon, so I thought maybe I would give it a go. My personal reasons for doing it, other than really liking other people's pages, is that it's uh, <laughs> gonna sound weird, but one of the reasons I want to start a Patreon is because I kind of feel a bit nervous talking to the camera and posting stuff online. And I worry sometimes that a lot of my family and friends and people have kind of... Oh, sorry, <laughs> the cat just jumped up on the side. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. She's exploring, exploring the office. And I'm keeping... This door is always closed because I know these plants are not for cats, so this is why... Uh, she is only ever supervised in this room. And why she's so excited. Hi. But yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, I get quite shy about posting stuff online and I'm really worried that I inundate people and they don't really want it. Hang on a second. <laughs> so I thought, if I have a Patreon, I know that every single person that joins wants to see what I'm creating and I can um, talk to you guys more because I always hate that I miss comments and uh, things on Instagram. So I'm kind of excited to have a little bit of an artist community. And I have so many things that I would love to do. I would love to learn more about gouache. I have two or three zines that I've always wanted to create. And I think if I had an Instagram, um, well, if I think if I had a Patreon, it would push me to really, <laughs> it would push me to really keep, keep doing it. Hey, oh hey. But that is the plan. It's a weird plan. I'm really excited to do it. Um, it's going to in no way affect what I currently do. In fact, I think it's going to push what I already do even further. Um, the idea is that I get to chat to you guys more and give something to say thank you for supporting me. Um, I'm excited to get to know all of you a bit more and work with you all and hopefully we can push each other to create more stuff. And if you're not an artist and you just want to join because you just want to hang out and chat and watch me be a fool. But for now, let's do some drawings and let's see what we can come up with. Doodle Rex, Doodleosaurus, Doodledon, Doodledocus, and Doodlezilla. And they've all got to kind of fit in here. Here is a really, really rough little sketch I did. A really rough little sketch I did on the uh, on the train the other day. So I'm going to try and turn this into something that means anything. So let's see how we do. And in the meantime, I'm going to be watching Miss Maisel. Uh, which is a great show on my broken screen.
see this but like this is my Pinterest and it's literally just colour palettes I can't stop liking and saving colour palettes into my illustration folder such so much amazing work in here um, and there's like it goes I went through a cityscapes phase and an and a, um, anatomy phase but um currently I'm only pinning colour palettes something 